And then also another message which I've been given. Last week, I spoke on this platform about Malawi, that we must pray about Malawi. And we thank God that for those who have been praying, God has arrested the situation. We know that it's someone from the opposition who has won. Hallelujah. God had already shown me that. I've spoken the results of other elections, and God has confirmed what will come to pass. We spoke about Liberia, it came to pass the same way. We spoke about Botswana, it came to pass the same way. We spoke about many other nations. We spoke about Kenya in the past. It came to pass the same way God shot us about Kenya. Hallelujah. So there was no need for me to speak about Malam, because God told me, go and speak the message this way. Don't reveal the results, how things will go, how things will pan out. So we thank God for what has taken place in the nation of Malawi. And we pray for the person who has been selected. But I repeat the words that I spoke uh, last week. Let us continue to pray so that there is no controversy after this election. Hallelujah. So that there is no what? There is no controversy. Hallelujah. What do we mean by controversy? It's a situation where the victory of someone is challenged within the court system, and then the country is in a limbo for quite some time. Let us pray that controversy against that controversy. And also let us pray for those who have been de defeated to accept the defeat with, with humility. And those who have won to receive the victory with what? with humility as well and magnanimity as well. So let us continue to pray for Malawi.